Hello there, my name is Peter. I've owned my BMW R1200 RS for about 18 months now and it's just had its 12,000 mile service. I've been riding bikes for coming up to 50 years and I've owned about 40 different bikes and I would say that the RS is one of the very best bikes I've ever owned and I'm really, really pleased with it. Here's me, about to go out for a ride, Captain Sensible, not very. Um, the bike itself has been extremely reliable on the road. There has been two issues that have had to be dealt with through the warranty. A while ago the rear suspension wasn't adjusting electronically um, and it turned out that it was the strut itself that needed replacing and that was done. I had corrosion on the centre spool of the rear wheel and this was because it hadn't been uh, plated correctly, it was only corrosion about halfway through. Um, it took two goes to get uh, that the, replaced under warranty and it was replaced at the recent service and it's a complete rear, new rear axle has been fitted so that's been sorted. I'm really pleased. It's got the HP footrests fitted uh, which are really nice. They're a bit of bling if you like. They, they work really well. I think they look really good and uh, they are adjustable. They can be lowered a small amount. Um, these are lowered very slightly because I've got a low seat fitted and there's no real issues with, with ground clearance. Um, the main stand has got some corrosion on the centre spar, not unusual on bikes. Um, I was going to get it plated last winter, didn't get it done and it's going to be done this winter for sure. Um, items that I've got fitted to the bike extras, I've got cylinder head covers, uh, they're American made. By a company called Machine Art Moto. A really really good company. Make some great products. Um, some of you may have heard of their stuff and they do work uh, as my wife can, uh, can, can, can vouch for. And when I drop the bike in Douglas Isle of Man when I tried to pull away in second gear at a junction with her on the back. Not good. Um, so Machine Art Moto cylinder head guards. Really really good. Um, I've got some clear water lights fitted. These fit and work through the CAN bus system with what they call a CAN opener, a device that's fitted under the seat and give you a huge range of, control, range of controllability with these lights. They're very, very effective. The brackets they're mounted on are actually machine art motor brackets. And these brackets uh, allow the fitting of a engine guard, as you can see at the front of the engine that stops the crud going onto the front of the engine and damaging the engine cover. If you use the OEM uh, light bracket you can't fit the engine guard and I've also uh, glued a BMW badge onto it just to give it a make it look a bit better. Fender extender is a pyramid uh, external. One of the problems with the RRS is that the front mud guard is very flexible and fender extenders tend to slap on the tyre. This mud guard has been reinforced underneath with fiberglass, so that doesn't happen. In there is an EvoTech radiator guard, which has been very effective. No problems with undue engine temperatures, uh, really good. Um, and you can also see there's a Roadhawk camera fitted. The camera is a recording in a loop whenever the engine's running, um, and it records date and time as well. It's for evidence gathering, really, um, although I do use it occasionally for video footage as you can see at the beginning of this video. Um, the bike itself is brilliant. I'm really pleased with the, uh, the handling. It's really it's stable and it's reasonably nimble. It does a good job, good compromise. The brakes are really really good. The engine is strong particularly in mid-range which is really great for real on-road riding. The screen is an MRA screen, a German screen with a deflector. I'm very tall in the body and sit very high on the bike. I never raise the screen on the, on the RS. I do sometimes use a little bit of the deflector when I'm on the motorway, but usually it's in its lowest position and it's really, really comfortable with no turbulence. The GPS has a, a Dutch made bracket which raises it slightly and enables it to be rotated so you can get a better view. Um, tank bag is an SW Motec tank bag. Uh, really effective, really good. It's got a waterproof cover inside it and it mounts on a tank ring. 
I've got a USB charger and I can connect one of two leads and I can charge either iPhone or Android battery pad or whatever on the road, which is really, really useful. You can see at the back of the bike, I've got an extra brake light fitted at the bottom and I'll go over that later. It's again a clear water item, it's called a Billy Junior. The exhaust can is a Remus, it's titanium, I really like it. It's got a baffle in, it's just a little bit louder than stock and I like that. It looks so much better than stock. The chrome one, the stock, I think is really ugly, really heavy. The link pipe's got a nice carbon fibre cover which again looks quite sweet. Um, I will apologise for the wiring. Um, the wiring was done in dribs and drabs. I would have liked to sleeve it, but taking it all apart again is, is a big job and I really, I really live with it. There's the engine cover on the right, the head cover on the right hand side. Um, you can see I've got uh, an American made uh, knee tank grips which are really, really useful. I do like to take the weight of my upper body on the tank on my knees, particularly when going downhill. I think it's really important. Um, and they work really, really well, and they stop the paintwork getting scuffed as well. Right, coming round, you can see um, the Dala Clearwater Dala light and a horn in there. Hornig do a lower toned horn. This is actually operated from the Clearwater can can opener system, and it, it's fitted in parallel with the original horn. So what it does is give a much broader tone, which is much more effective, which I think is really, really important. I'm not afraid, I've got a horn and I'm not afraid to use it. So you can see I've got stainless steel bar ends, which are not there for any reason other than just bling really, and, and it's a better view of the GPS mount, which is really useful, really pleased with that. I did scrape the end of my mirror on my garage wall when I was swinging the bike onto the main stand, and that rather annoys me, but I'm not gonna bother. That's gonna have to live with that one. Um, so the bike, as I say, has been really, really good. I'm really pleased with it. It suits my riding style down to the ground. It's the riding position I prefer to the, to the GS. Um, yeah, love it to bits. I love all the modes, the engine modes, the suspension modes work really well. Um, the, the user mode, I use a dynamic throttle because I like a consistent throttle response. And I use rain um, for the traction control. I use that when it's really wet and greasy. Um, so the brakes are really good. I've got Metzella Rotec 01s front and rear. I'm really pleased with them. They're better than the Michelin PR4s that I had before. Uh, they cupped and, and wore terribly. and didn't last as long and had no more grip. That's for certain, wet or dry. So I'm really, really pleased with the, with the Metzellas. They've they're, had it now at six and a half thousand miles. The front's got a couple of millimetres on, uh, that's next payday. The rear, I've got one on the way, it's only got a millimetre left on the rear, on the sides. So that needs to be replaced. So there it is, you can see the, the camera under the nose of the fairing. Brakes are really, really good. Obviously got ABS, dynamic traction control. Um, yeah, headlights are really good and I shall go over the, um, the way the clear water lights work in a minute. Although, of course, the, the camera uh, frame rate does, does give the, a pulsing impression uh, with the lights, which is obviously not there for real. So there it is, very beautiful. My, in my favourite colour scheme, I have to say, for the, uh, for the RS. Um, pannier, pannier mounts, use panniers, they're very, very good. A top box as well, which I use for my camera equipment, which is also very useful. And as you can see, it's got a Machine Art Moto mud sling there which is essential keeps all the mud and crud off the off the shock and the back of the bike and the electronics that are mounted there really really useful i'm really pleased with the titanium can i think it looks really nice but i do i've always liked this the the, the spool on the back of the bms um, since it first came in and the, the first gs it looks really really nice 